Okay, the last one is quite unique and different from the previous one we talked about. The previous one, you see, the survey data is information about the firm. Am I right? The institutional investors is, is information, is institutional investors' understanding of the firm, right? So the CSR report is, is the firm's social value, right? So I, I said the three things how much money, how much resource they put in the CSR and uh, what's the objective of social value and what's the specific plan, that's, that's information. Proc statement is about governance. IPO is about the private firm. So the last one is not about the firm, it's about the regulators, about the government. So how, how does government care about the firm? That's the, that's the last one, that's the last one. So basically all we talk about here is about the firm's disclosure, firm's information, except for the institutional investors. The institutional investors one is the institutional investors understanding of the firm. So here we're talking about the government understanding of the firm, okay? Here is the government understanding of the firm. So, so that's how we, how we do the sixth one. The sixth one, four, of the, uh, four out of the six, it's about the firm's information about the firm. And the one about institutional investors understanding of the firm. The last one we talk about here is the government understanding of the firm. Okay, so what's the last one really about is, is that sometimes SEC, the government, will send some inquiry to add to firm. So for example, if I'm a SEC staff, I'm worried about Apple. I will send an inquiry to Apple saying, hey, Apple, um, I'm not comfortable with the line uh, you put here in the findings. Uh, can you explain what's going on? So they can also send it to Apple saying, hey, Apple, is this really true? Is this a fraud? Or the, are, you, are you guys making up? So, so basically the, the SEC common letter is the inquiries that SEC sent to the firms. So what firms should do? Firms should respond. Firms should tell uh, the, the, the SEC staff, the government saying, okay, the, regarding this question, I should do blah, 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 blah. You got this, I should do blah, 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 blah. And, and then the back and forth, back and forth, maybe 20 times. Uh, so, uh, and then the rule in the United States is uh, once the conversation is finished, I think after 20 days or something, you can request the communication. You can you can request the the, the response back and forth communication. Uh, uh, I I don't remember exactly how many days, uh, but but this is public available. Okay, the communication between the SEC staff and uh, and the firms regarding the inquiries regarding the uh, uh, response, uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, available um, uh, in a in a delayed fashion. Um, I also heard uh, scholars in China told me, uh, they said uh, in Chinese setting, it's more of a spontaneous. So basically you can immediately see the inquiry and you can immediately see the response uh, in China setting. Uh, uh, however, in the US there's a little delay. Okay, there's a little delay. Uh, once you finish the communication, um, you, can, you can find the, uh, you know, the uh, government inquiries and, uh, and, and the staff and, and, and the SEC and staff responses. So, uh, so this is about the SEC common letter. Okay, just to uh, summarize simply, this is about the government inquiry about the firm and the firm responds to government. And the government will respond again, a firm will respond again back and forth. And why we need this? Why do we need the SEC common letter? Two things, two things. First, you can understand what's in the regulator's mindset. What do, what do regulators care, right? What do regulators care? Maybe when regulators care about the Apple stuff, that may signal something. If, if, if regulators uh, inquire about Apple, some numbers, some stuff, you may be think of Apple is doing something bad. So you can read the uh, regulator's mindset to help you to better understand the firm. That's one thing, that's one thing. Another thing is you may have some uh, policy implications because if 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 the if the SEC care about this number for for Apple, that number for Google, that number for Facebook, <clears throat> if there's a com com commonality commonality among these numbers, that means SEC maybe they come up with some regulations to help these firms to do something, right? So this is has some uh, uh, policy implications. And the third thing is. The third thing useful is by looking at the firm's answer, you can better understand the firm. 
you can better understand the form. The form has to respond. By looking at the form response, you can better understand what the form is doing, right? So that's the three things you actually can extract from the SDC common method. Let's look at an example. Let's look at several examples here. So, So you can you can see what's the SEC's question. Please revise the second paragraph so it's consistent with the plain English requirement. Blah blah blah. So briefly discuss uh, the this is Facebook, right? This Facebook ability to design the successor implications of being controlled uh, uh, company. So this is very general. So basically, SEC has a rule. I uh, forgot what year. They want everybody to understand the English, not just in like a complicated business language. So this is just a, uh, this is very general rule just to make sure you, you, you explain things well. And then the company just explain blah, blah, blah. And, and, and that, that this is not a, uh, okay, we can just, this is a quite easy question to answer for from SEC, right? And you can see that the priest concisely explained the extent of the CEO's post offering control. For example, discuss blah, blah. This is important. You know, the, uh, the, the Zach Burke want to step down, but, even they step down, he stepped down, he won't have some control in the company. That's very important. You want to see how exactly Jack, Jack Berg uh, 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 control the firm, right? So, so they, have to, they have to write the whole paragraph uh, to, to answer the question. So, so as a, uh, like I said, three things you can get from this. First, you can see what government care, government care about, government care about how clear is the stops. How, how clear is, is your language? Government care about what? Care about who is controlling the firm. This is, you can get what, what does government care? You can also get what? You can get the, uh, you can get the, uh, what, what's the, uh, what's the uh, firm's response? From the response, you can see who actually actually control a, a company. Is Jack Berger actually be the, you know, be the behind the, uh, behind the scene? And, you know, this kind of, you can see all the information uh, from this. And uh, yeah, and also, uh, um, and also, you can you can better understand. You can understand this is an important issue, right? You can better understand this is an important issue. So, um, so, so basically, uh, uh, again, just to repeat the three three implications. Uh, we can use the data. We can use the data to understand a policy implication. So they want to, the government want to plan English. This is policy. This is rule four twenty one. You. From policy wise, you know, government want to plan English. They don't want you to write something nobody understand. So you see, you see policy policy implication from the common letter. That's number one. Number two, you can see what government care. Government care about the 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 the, the readability. Government care about the, uh, who controls the firm. So that help you understand the firm, right? The second thing. The third thing is from their response. You also better understand the firm, right? That's the three things I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, policy, government's concern, and uh, uh, learning from the company's response. So let's read the three questions, uh, third questions. Uh, please provide uh, other material to the second paragraph, blah, blah. They want to explain more, right? They want to explain more. So this is a, a government inquiry. Um, and also let's see more questions. We note your statement in these sections and throughout your uh, pro prospectus uh, regarding users' ability to control what they share, with whom they share, and pre-describe us a level of control. And we have over sharing information with you, given that your collection uses information to deliver target ads and the user focused information. In addition, provide disclosure in the section discussion uh, user control of information ability to collect user. So this is a data privacy. This is a very hard topic. Very hot topic, right? How exactly we can do the pr data privacy? You guys, we, you use Facebook, you have, how many friends you have, um, like we, your, your date of birth, yeah, everything's there, everything's there. How do you keep the, your browsing history? All these are the, uh, your private data. How do, how do you do the private data? How do you control that? Going back to my earlier comments, you can see what exactly government care. Government care about, readability of the, the of the of the uh, firm's finding government care about the data privacy right 
right? This is what you can read from this common letter. Okay, let's keep keep reading that. We note your statements in this section throughout your uh, prospectus regarding the importance of uh, authentic identity. Please balance this disclosure by discussing impact of uh, fictitious or uh, uh, duplicate accounts, blah, 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 and notifying authentic people my also explain limitation here to simply encourage users to true uh true selves online it's all about so they, uh, users right it's about users information so this is the both uh, uh questions about the user information you can see that uh, this is what uh, governments care they can see their response you can also learn something from a company's response regarding the data privacy and the user information so let's let's see more. Uh, let's see more. Please explain the shares outstanding after uh, offering assumes the uh, conversion by certain your ex uh, existing stockholders of Class B. This is about ownership, right? So government also care about ownership about the, about the firm. So risk factors. Here is what's one thing. Please add a risk factor addressing potential management issues in user metrics as they discussed. So they care about risk. By by what when the Facebook answer this, you can understand additional about risk. So before you don't know what is exactly what's the potential management issues, but now by 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 reading the answers, you can know more risk about the Facebook. Right? This is a uh, uh, this is about this, and also um, further further what we do is. You stated that your advertising uh, revenue could be adversely affected by the legal development related to the advertising and degree to which users uh, opt, opt out of social ads or otherwise limited the potential audience of the commercial content. Please discuss the potential risks to your current and planned business uh, model, post, uh, model post by the recently released consumer privacy bill of rights C item 503. Uh, this is um so this is about uh, this is about uh, risk legal risk about the uh, uh, advertisement uh, adv advertisement. So it's also risk. So uh, uh, you can see how the company responds about the risk and uh, what's the risk. Uh, do they have the risk and blah blah blah. You can have the information. You can have the information about this. So to summarize, let's summarize what we learned from the common letter here. What we learned from common letter here is. Uh, we have uh, three things. We have three things we want to talk about here. The first, what do what do government care? Government care from this. We care about three things. First, they got they care about the readability of the disclosure. It should be easy to read. Second, privacy, the privacy of the data of the user. The third thing of the risk, any risk the company is facing, right? So you can see that that's the government care about. So this is a. Uh, um, what they care about Google may be different from Apple. Maybe they care about the same thing about Google. So, so you can look at Google, you can look at uh, Apple, you can look at everyone. You can see the what's the common care, what's the common concern the government have over this kind of uh, 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 tech giant. So, uh, um, so this is uh, uh, one thing. Government care about these three, privacy, uh, readability, and the risk. And, and the second thing is, how do you learn from these answers? Form, form response to this uh, privacy risk from the firm's response. You can learn something more about the firm, right? You can learn something more about the firm. So this is the second thing. The third thing is the policy, the data policy. So, uh, the, so the, the government policy. If government care not so much about the data policy, data privacy, would they come up with a new policy to regulate that? You see, you see the government care about the readability. So, so uh, uh, the government kind of already have the issue about the improved readability use plain English. So yeah, that's the three things you guys can read from the common letter. Um, just simply summarize, simply if, uh, 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 just simply summarize for you guys the three things. Uh, what do we learned from the SEC common letter? First, first is you know what government SEC staff care about for care about for so their concerns their mindset and the, the example we have here is the risk readability and the data privacy they may care about different things for other firms this is what you can learn from Camelot. the third thing is you can you can learn from the 
firm's response. From firm's response, you can know more about risk, know more about data privacy, know more about uh, uh, the the um, data privacy risk and uh, and uh, readability and readability. So you can learn more about that. You can learn more about that. So by learning more about that, you can predict the firm price. You can fulfill performance. That's the second thing. The third thing is the policy. If 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 government really care about data privacy for Google for everyone, you may see a new policy come up. You may see a new policy come up. So this is what you can you can extract from the common letter. So by analyzing, by text analyzing the common letter, by text analyzing the common letter, uh, you can get the you can get the government future policy implications, you, uh, policy plans. You can get the uh, government's concern about the firms. You can get the firms' response to each concerns. So you can get all this information. You, you can understand the regulator's mindset. You can understand the firms better by looking at firms' response. You can understand the future policy better. So this uh, this is uh, from the common letter. This is from common letter. So just to summarize, what do we have for the six data? For the six data, overall, overall, the idea is to help you guys to understand the firm, understand the institutional investors, understand the government. You understand all these important the capital market participants. In the, in the market. By understanding that, you will become a successful investors in the market. And uh, there's some common things among these uh, data. The common things is they are all textual. They are all textual. But how do you handle this? This is going back to the project I gave to you, the conference call and AK. You have to convert the unstructured textual to the structured textual. And then you do the anal analytics on the structured data you, co you convert it. And then you extract the information. So for example, use the last example, common data. You can, you can use the textual analysis to get what government care about, right? Here, by reading, you know government care about data privacy uh, and uh, risk and uh, readability. But can you, use, can you use the algorithm we talk about in the class to exactly extract the three concerns, human read, that's that's one thing, okay. That's one thing, and the, and the second thing is second thing is um, second thing is uh, uh, just 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 to summarize what we talk about. First point, the common point about the, the six data is everyone every data I'm talking about here is textual, is textual data. Uh, but but if you but but if you can process 10k well, 8k well, conference call well, you can easily process this data well as well. So this is. This is this is once you have the skills ready, you can handle all the data here and uh, to to answer different questions. Like I said, like I said here by human reading, you can get the, the concern of government is risk, uh, readability, and uh, and uh, and uh, pri privacy. Uh, you can actually use the keyword search or use machine learning to get that three topics out, three topics out. And uh, this is this is what you can do by, uh, uh, you can do step by step. Let's finish the conference call first, okay? Let's do that first. And then this is the future plan for you guys. This is the future plan you will you will use uh, when you guys, you know, in a, in an advanced degree and in a, in a job, you know, when you guys work in a, in a company. So this is the first commodity. Everyone is, is, is the, uh, is textual data. And everyone, every data here has to be converted from unstructured to structured. And the second com com commodity about the data is we have to use the data to help someone in the market, to help investors, to help managers, to help government, to help institutional investors. So these data, we are using them to, to help important uh, people to make decisions. So, uh, so, so this is, uh, um, so this is, uh, um, so this is basically, this is going back to the things I repeated again and again. You have to understand the structure of the data. And then you use the data to help someone who are important in the market, investors, institutional investors, governments. So, so this, is the, uh, this is the data structure uh, we have, the six data. So just to summarize what we have discussed in the class, we discussed 10K, 8K, conference call, survey data, uh, institutional investor data, uh, social value data, proxy statement data, IPO data, regular data. We talk about all these data source. For all these data source, uh, I, like I said, you need to know uh, uh, we only we only practice on the conference call and the AK. 
but you guys can the, the 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 rest of them you guys can you know for your own future job and for your own advanced studies you can look further to see how to convert convert this unstructured data to structure and how to use the data to help investors to managers uh, to make decisions and uh, and uh, and uh, yeah so that's basically uh, we 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 explain all the uh, we explain all the data structure and the contents of the data. Uh, and uh, uh, that's that's just part one. Part one is the is the data structure and the contents of the data. And uh, uh, part two is you need to figure out how to use the data to help people. That's why uh, we have a presentation. We have the project. You guys can use any of the data or new data to help someone to make decisions. That, that's the that's the part two. Part three is the technology, which uh, um, uh, which you guys can uh, you you will see that, uh, like I said, uh, it's your option to choose back or worst keyword search or machine learning approach. So uh, um, so this is about uh, uh, it's about the. Uh, it's about the, uh, all the data uh, we discussed uh, in the class, and um, and 